because it can be very dangerous to rely on a teacher. I have seen myself during my lifetime as a monk, you see teachers doing all kinds of crazy things that may seem often very inspiring in the beginning, often they can be very charismatic and they can have a lot of meta perhaps, and people are like, you know, magnet, you know, it's almost like a magnet to people, people get drawn into these people. And then it turns out that even though they have this kind of external charismatic appearance, when it comes to the internal qualities, they are not as solid as people think they are. And then they start doing crazy things like, you know, they. They start having, if they're monastics, they start having relationships with other people. Or if it isn't that bad, at least they start getting, sliding into all kinds of luxury and all kinds of things which are unseemly for a monastic. And of course, what happens when this happens is that the people who think they have faith in something which is Buddhism, they get very, very disappointed. And sometimes they lose their faith, they lose their willingness to practice, and they throw out the whole baby with the bathwater because they think Buddhism is some kind of corrupt religion which is no good for anybody. And of course that is very, very unfortunate. But that is what happens when you rely, or that is, rather, what, that is what can happen when you rely on like a teacher to teach you rather than the Buddha himself. And sometimes it isn't that bad. Sometimes it's not as if the teacher goes completely berserk and does really wild things. Sometimes it's simply that they teach you a teaching which isn't quite in accordance with the way the Buddha taught. Sometimes they teach you things which is slightly uh, different, uh, slightly maybe uh, not leading exactly in the same way. It doesn't actually take you on exactly the same path that the Buddha taught. It doesn't take you to the same states of deep uh, peace and bliss that the Buddha said are available for people. They do not actually go to the same goal that the Buddha talk, talked about. And because of that, again, this is a much more subtle difficulty. Uh, and it's very, very difficult sometimes to know whether the teacher you have is teaching the right path. And the only way you can know that is by going back to the word of the Buddha and using that as your foundation stone. That should be the, where you find your ultimate kind of reference point as to whether anybody is teaching the right path. And this is very important, and of course, that also goes for Ajahn Brahm's teachings. I mean, you know, of course, what I say as well, of course, anybody's teachings. It's not as if, you know, one person, just because he happens to be the teacher here, is somehow elevated above that criteria. He's not. It goes for everybody. Everybody should be checked out in this particular way here.